<clears throat> so today I need to change the oil in both cars. I haven't done it in a very long time, uh, which is totally on me. Um, but I'm gonna start with the 68. Um, and I need to get in there, change the oil, clean it up. Uh, it runs an Oberg oil filter. Um, so I'm gonna have to take that apart, um, clean off the screen and then put it back together. And an Oberg filter is just basically this flat, big round filter with a crazy good micron uh, filter screen in it. And it's totally reusable. We can just get in, uh, take it apart, wash it off and put it back together um, and put it back in service. Uh, and never have to actually replace anything. It's just a clean, clean and go. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Is change the oil and at least the 68 uh, depending on how hot it gets, it's supposed to get it's supposed to get up to like 105 uh, today. Uh, I may do the red car also. Uh, I need to get that done. There's a race called Texas versus the World coming up September 16th. If you don't know about it, you should really know about it and try to make it because it's going to be the biggest thing that I've seen uh, Volkswagen racing probably in my entire life. Um, so I'm certainly going to go to that. Um, so. Vever, who we uh, worked with on the ultrasonic and it sent us an ultrasonic and I did a little quick review on it because I've actually owned the same ultrasonic for a very long time. Uh, also sent us this pneumatic jack. Uh, I haven't opened it yet so I'm going to open it up and I think that obviously there's going to be some assembly required so I need to make sure we, we put that together uh, and assemble it. Um, and since I'm going to be underneath the car today already I figured I would do this and then give it a shot on the car and see how easy it is to look, work with a pneumatic jack instead of um, doing a pop jack. Uh, so let's get to open this up. I'll put a link to this below um, and then there is a discount code that should get you uh, five off, I think 5% off. Uh, but Bever is crazy fast shipping. Um, I had just talked to them about this the other day. Uh, they asked me if I would be up for reviewing it. So uh, I literally, like, I think this was two day shipping from the time that I had talked to them to the time it showed up. So, um, and like I said, it is just a pneumatic jack. It's a monster. And I think I may have opened it upside down. No, I guess I had to open it this way. Some assembly required. This is the handle. This is the top handle. And the box got really light. So what it looks like is 10 and 12 are going to be our friends. So I got those out. Uh, up on its side I can see that there's a <coughs> beveled dish area uh, that sort of also matches these blacks, black heads and their Allen heads, uh, and Allen is supplied with it. So I'm only gonna assume that these go right here, and that these will be what holds this bracket in place, which is the arm bracket. So this provided spring I got in here and I put this bolt below the spring so that the spring is on the top side since it allows m movement this way. Bolt comes through. Then we have another bolt that goes through. And this allows for locking, and you can slide it, lock it, slide it, and lock, lift it. It has some air in my compressor. 
big stretch. Because looking at your car is takes two seconds. Well that's pretty awesome. So we'll get this down, we'll get on the ground, we'll get ready to start changing the oil, get some pans out. Alright, <clears throat> so it barely fits underneath the 68. Uh, I found that if you collapse it and then turn the valve off, then it holds it down. Uh, so I'm going to try to so slip it underneath there. And what I'm going to do is set up some air to it. Get it to go up. I'm gonna have to get some jacks underneath it. Jack, I usually like to put them on the torsion housing. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six exposed. I'll get it as far out as I can for stability and then we'll drop her oh, that's messy under here release the air release the Kraken here and here and here. I gotta just slide the I'm gonna slide the tray over here and make sure that I catch any oil that comes off of there. This time I'm trying some uh, driven racing oil. Uh, I got it for both cars. Some 10W30. It's so hot out here. Look, 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 look. So 
put four total quarts in. Check. Let's see where we're at. I'm running the uh, Berg one and a half quart sump, <coughs> so I don't have to be crazy high. Because I run the Oberg oil filter here, and the Oberg filter doesn't actually take up a whole bunch of oil extra capacity. Um, if you run a spin on, like I run a system one on that one, those filters actually take almost a quart themselves. Just the filter alone, you can sit there and just pre-fill it, and you'll just take, keep taking it and taking it and taking it. You're like, oh my gosh, this keeps going. Uh, yeah, so it actually takes a lot of oil, <clears throat> and you have to think about it. Plus, like the red car, I have full uh, oil cool system goes to a Citrab oil cooler and then comes back up. So that's probably a quart to maybe a quart and a half itself. Um, so. The red car actually takes more oil. Uh, this car doesn't have an extra external oil cooler. I just run in the doghouse inside uh, oil cooler. Now it's time to clean up. Since we're four and a half quarts uh, full, so I'll start her up. So today we got the pneumatic jack assembled with all the nuts and bolts that it came with. We got to put it to use. We drug some air out there. We stuck the air hose on there, put the car in the air, uh, then let the air out and put the car on the ground. In the meantime, in the middle of that, we put some uh, new oil in the car. The car really needed an oil change. It hadn't had one in a long time. Uh, so I need to take a little better care of my cars. Uh, usually I just try to get in and go all the time and I really shouldn't do that. <clears throat> so. Check out the Jack. Uh, it's from Vever. They've been very supportive of the channel. Um, there's a link below with a little discount code also to help you out. It's a great uh, addition for any shop uh, if you like to uh, easily go up and easily go down. Um, make sure you're checking out All Metro Garage for your shirts and sticker needs. And then make sure you tell your aunts and tell your uncles about VW Life. It's a super cool channel and a super cool way for us to reach out to you guys and share a little bit about what we know and what we can do. And make sure to like and subscribe and stick with us because next week we're going to be back on track with regular videos and keeping up with what we do on a daily basis living the VW Life.